Well, Paul Gutierrez here, Jeff Darlington here, and uh, an emotional week, Paul, yeah. that you basically witnessed yourself firsthand throughout. How do you feel like the team overall handled today? Well, to me, Jeff, what was interesting was the way they compartmentalized all those emotions. I mean, if you were there all week long, you felt the heaviness in the facility, you talked to the guys when they were at the podium, Derek Carr choking up, kind of ears, his tears were kind of welling in his eyes a little bit. And then they came out on the field, and this was their sanctuary. And they hadn't scored on their their opening drive in 12 games. They come out, they do that, they never look back. The defense is flying around, four turnovers. Uh, they didn't commit a turnover. It's the first time they've had a game like that uh, on the road since 1988. So I think they compartmentalized pretty well. Yeah. And it was emotional. You didn't know which way it was going to go, and it was on the positive end for them. Yeah, that was interesting to me because in the press conference, it wasn't like people were overstating this as if they had some rallying cry that they were going to come out in here and win. And yet it was arguably their best first half of the season and, and generally overall a really good game. Where do you put the credit on the success that they had today? I think it goes to the team leadership. It shows that they have what it takes in terms of team leaders to keep these guys focused. It's a young team, but it's also a new team. They got a lot of newer guys in there, but they're veterans. Guys like Yannick Ngakwe, who have seen uh, things. Denzel Perriman, who's been in the league for a while, but they're new to the Raiders culture. So I think Max Crosby probably put it best when I asked him how they were able to compartmentalize. He said, look, it's the Raiders. Ever since he's been here, there's been crazy yeah, things good. going on. So <laughs> it's, it's just another day at the beach, really, for this team. Yeah, I guess the question now becomes, was this the result of an emotional jolt for this team that saw this success? Or do we think that this is sustainable even without a head coach in John Gruden? I think we'll have a better answer to that next week because they get the Eagles at home and then they have their bye. So they can, they can maintain yeah. this emotional high for another week, get to the bye and figure things out. But they've always had the tools on, on offense. The defense has been the question, and they were able to put it all together today, whether that was emotionally related or not. I think next week will tell a better tale. Well, Derek Carr said that he was very impressed by Greg Olson, who was calling the plays on offense. So in general, it felt like this team gelled in, on a day when certainly it could have gone either way. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.